So can you tell me your full name? Hmm. My name is David Dao Achuat. I basically had grew up in the borderline of Sudan, Ethiopia, and Kenya in what is now Sudan that now becomes South Sudan. So my mom stayed there with a the kid in Bortown until the conflict in December when uh, you know, on the 15th of 2013. When the conflict break, the first thing I did was I pick up a phone. So I called my brother and my cousin in Juba and they said there was a fighting. Mm -hmm. I was in constant communication with my mom, but then thing changed when the, when the group that was, uh, the rebels took over the town. And I remember it was early in the morning, I tried to call, I, I woke up at 4 a.m. here and try to call the number and the phone wouldn't go through. And I think that was the last I heard of my mother. So uh, in August, I, I came to the conclusion with the family that we need to do a prayer. And we did, we did. She was innocent. She was living with her grandkids and her kids. I would talk to her whenever she want, whenever I want. It was the dream that South Sudanese has been dreaming. But then, it, you know, she was killed. And I could not understand why. There are a lot of families who are suffering in the camp. And you saw all the statistics that the UN put out about the fear of famine in South Sudan. So it is true that people are suffering. But I do think there should be an effort to inform people that your voices are being heard. Because that will give them hope. You know, because their voices are being heard by the people they never met. And that could strengthen their hope, you know, in a way that they would know, okay, I'm being heard. Somebody is worried about me somewhere, you know. And if you have that attitude, then you can actually make it through difficulties.